and welcome back to another discussion video. As I said, I had time today, so I think I had to get a couple of quick discussion videos that have been had lined up out of the way. Uh, the Reaper of the Mist asks, who do I think is faster, Lee or Haku? That's, I mean, that's an obvious answer question, but at the same time, if Haku had lived, it could have been an adjusted answer. But if you want my immediate answer, then it's Lee. Lee is faster than Haku. Now, why do I say that? Because Lukaku was extremely fast, capable of disappearing pretty quickly, uh, almost instantaneously to some degree. But eventually, someone like Sasuke was able to uh, pick up on his movements and eventually was able to tag him. Uh, honestly, Haku, as fast as he is, we, the, the problem with this whole this, uh, the comparison is that Haku died. And Lee, we know, continued to grow and get stronger. But honestly, even if that were the case, even if Haku had lived and maybe even gone to the village to leave and met Lee, it's clear that Lee was faster. Even without the even with the weights on, Lee was faster. Or at the very minimum, equal in speed to Haku. Because Sasuke was able to keep uh, follow Haku's movements and actually even keep up to some degree. Whereas he could not keep up with Lee's movements. Even with the Sharingan, he could follow him, but he couldn't keep up with him. And then you factor in the hidden gates, which would just boost Lee's abilities up even further. Then it's a pretty obvious answer. Lee was faster. Now the catch of that is, if Haku had led, kept training, getting stronger and faster, would he have been faster than Lee? And the honest answer is, I don't know. I don't think so. And I think the reason for that is, whereas Haku was certainly fast and used that speed to his advantage... Lee only had Taijutsu, therefore his physical abilities had to be as powerful as he could possibly make them. And I think that is ultimately why Lee was faster than Haku, is because he trained to be faster, he trained to be stronger, faster, more durable, because his style revolved around it. It completely depended on it, whereas Haku's didn't depend on his speed so much. He used his speed, and he used it very effectively, but ultimately was not the deciding factor of his style. And I think that's the big difference between the two, is that Lee's speed re uh, did revolve around his style, whereas Haku's did not. So, ultimately, that's my thoughts. I think Lee was, honestly, and pretty easily the faster of the two. But honestly, let me know what you think. Do you think Haku ultimately was or could have been faster than Lee, or do you think Lee is just naturally... Well, not naturally, but is just faster than Haku because uh, Lee is faster than Haku, or uh, Lee trained more than Haku did. Well, I know the concept below, but until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I got one more discussion video today, and then I'm going to be done for the rest of the day. So thanks for watching. See you next time.